Now, it's no big secret that water is slippery. And we also know that fiberglass isn't known for its traction. So the funny thing is, is that surfers combine these two things and attempt to not only ride on top of the slippery water with the slippery fiberglass, but are out there doing tricks. Now yeah, surfers do have things to combat this slipperiness. Wax is one, there's also traction pads. But as we're getting ready to see, these don't always work as well as we hoped. Now with most extreme sports, you're either attached to the board, you have shoes specifically made to grip the grip tape of a board, or you have handlebars which you can grab a hold of. Surfing, not so much. Now I know you're thinking, well Brad, what does it look like for a good wax job to stick? Here it goes, right here, watch this. Feet on the board, straight down, never slid at all. That's a proper wax job. Let's see what happens when it's not done well. And this is a prime example of the traction pad, just not gripping like it should. Right there, whoops. Boy, he's pretty surprised too. And sometimes not having that traction in the back doesn't make you fall right away, but it does make surfing a little more like the rodeo, like riding a buck and bull at this point. Can't get that back foot to sit tight on that back pad, and he's just left <laughs> it on until he's not. Now, sometimes you may have done an excellent job waxing your board, but somebody else forces you to slide off. And then sometimes, you know, that wax feels good, especially on a big day like this. You're thinking, all right, I've got a nice grip on here. Get a little bottom turn in. Everything seems to be going just fine until it's not. Right there, that front foot. Oh, what it looks like is the grip is fine up here. Once he moves his foot back to the mid part of the board, that's where he finds he forgot to wax the middle part of the board. And other times, it's not the actual wax that's making you fall. It's the fact that both your feet come off of the board altogether. As we see right here. Oh. <laughs> the wax can't work when both your feet aren't even on the board. And then some people have mastered the art of slippage. And not only do they recorrect like this, get right back up and keep riding. Keep in mind, you also need to wax those rails because you need those to help you stand up. Ooh. Or you end up doing that. Right there, you can see that. You can see that right hand slipping on the rail because there's no wax. And in this case, it's the complete opposite where his wax is incredible and the tail pad. It's so good that he spins it completely around. Never lost traction on that board. Look at that. Spun it completely around. You know, he was still hanging on to it. <laughs> Although he's going backwards. And another prime example of the old traction pad just not giving you that traction. Whoa! Uh-oh. Now he's in a bad spot. And all right, I'll end it on this blatantly clear slippage from wax. You can see the wax build up a bit old on there, but yeah, look at this. Whoop. Just slid right off the deck. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Brad Jacobson. And I'll see you on the sand.